The Blues have achieved some stability in team selection in recent weeks, and in fact, 14 of these players started the last match against the Northern Bulls. The only change comes at number eight, where Michael Jones is out because it's a Sunday game and is replaced by 20-year-old Xavier Rush. Jones's absence means that for the second time this season, the captaincy goes to Craig Dowds. They've prepared well for this game, the Stormers. Play well at uh, Lancaster Park. They've warmed up for 15 minutes or so on the ground, and Dick Muir brings them out. Well, the Stormers have three changes in the forwards, one in the backs from their match against the Crusaders. Up front, uh, Lock Low, Prop Vasaki and Hooker Van Vake are in the starting lineup. while in the backs, Swart has dropped, and this allows Montgomery to move to fullback. Stewart to centre, Fleck to the wing. The Stormers are led by number 12, Dick Muir. And uh, which way is this going to come out? Referee signalling advantage. Might need it, though, because Junior Tanu's away. He's got support in field from Andrew Bowers. Carter's out wide, and Carter's going to go in. Two and a half minutes. It just went up and down, and Mark Carter scores the opening try of the match. Tanu'u fires it across to Vendiri. Magnificent play from Vendiri. Into centre field. Oh, this is magnificent again from Erani Clark. That is an outstanding try from the Blues. One of the very best tries of the season. Vendiri's pass. And Stensless, I think it was, who flipped the little pass back in. And uh, Ronnie Clark, an excellent finisher. Taken down by Blowers. Tanu'u to set them in motion again. Clark, Stensness. A little sleight of hand play on again, says Wayne Erickson. Now it's Cashmore. But just look how the Blues' backs go into help. Stensness it is. And it means that they can recycle the ball. Rush hands it on to Clark. There's always somebody in support. Blowers has had a big start to this game. Brook gets to halfway. Now Rush frees it up for Carter. Stensness. Here's Cashmore. Vendiri held back away from where the referee could see him. Here's Carter. Carter's looking for number two. And he gets it. Well, the scoring route just continues from the Southland Blues side. Stensness. Again, that clever little push through. It's a regular part of his game. Montgomery, oh, oh boy, away to Rousseau. Oops, running back towards the big men. Then he gives it away. Spencer. Bonus point for Auckland already. Well, the look on Carlos Spencer's face says everything. He can't believe how lucky he got. No, they're going back to a tap by the look of that formation. So it's the hooker, Van Vake. Now it's back inside to Corelli. Dowd makes the tackle on Corelli. They're still close to the line, and they're there. Rolling over is the, the halfback. I think it is. Yes, it is. Yoppy Adlam. He got one against the Crusaders last week. So Carlos Spencer makes his first kickoff of the day. Well claimed there by Hotty Lowe. Now the long pass into centre field. Oh dear. Big smash in midfield by Ronnie Clark. And they've got a chance to catch up immediately and lob it. Now it's Vendiri. Oh dear, Ronnie Clark. He made it. Vendiri scores it. And that's not a very flash kick either. So now Yoppy Adlam, the halfback, running hard. Looking for the runners, and he finds Brick. Can't quite get away from Dowd. Now it's Aitken, and Andrew Aitken is in under the bar. Excellent counter-attack by the Stormers. Getting closer to the line. And the dive, the try, score it. I think it's Junior Tanuhu, the halfback. Or is it Xavier Rush? Rush has it. I don't think that's a great call at all. No, not a good call. And it means the Stormers have to play with 40 men now for the next 10 minutes. Still as if they have to play anyway. Here come the Blues, everybody joining in. Vendieri's there too. 
fighting their way to the line. And uh, the try is given. And it's Paul Mitchell who comes up with the ball. Naivo to the 22. Carter hands it up to Tanu'u. This is what they've been waiting for. A chance to stretch the legs. The Blues out wide. Stensness. Spencer fires it back for Brook. Play on, says the referee. Now Mitchell. Lovely pass. Now this should be all over by rights. It is. Joanne Vendiri. Back there to Caleb Ralph again. Tanu'u. Magnificent length of pass. Brook to Carter. And what a try for Mark Carter. The Stormers are all calling for a forward pass. A good iron pass from Robin Book. For one of the American NFL teams. The Packers, he may be facing Brett Favre or something. Yes. So now the Stormers, can they produce something? Well, not with a pass like that. Swart, way out in centre field. He's going to try and outflank some of these blues. Oh, dear. He's giving it away. Chased by Montgomery, can't get him. Well, they handed him another one. So now it's uh, Filuin. Trapped in the back by Aiken. Opens up for Filuin. And he slips through. Naivo. Flipped away for Rush. Turn away for Xavier Rush. So now the Stormers have another go. Quickly taken. Looking for Brink. Can't pick it up. Chance here, and the try is scored by Tom Rice. The replacement hooker gets in, and they do come up with their fourth try, which means a bonus point for the Western Stormers. Referee Wayne Erickson signals the conversion is over, and so is the game. 74 points to 28.